I went up those stairs and opened a room from the past. Upon entering, I was overwhelmed by the stacks of magazines which covered the walls. How was I to find what mattered most? I started to untidy the room, shifting papers that once held the utmost importance. Old bank statements, Miss Magazine, Chatelaine, Business Review, Time, Stockholders' Information, and typed-up notes to oneself. Under it all, I discovered these missing images, wrapped up in paper mache ribbons and tinfoil. Granny's memory vault. She told me this was where the future was held, and that the future would be a return to her past. Flowers would have to be grown again to give us joy. First, they would be contained inside clear shacks or underground. They would grow strong before being exposed to the toxic air that clung to the outsides of everything. Our newer technologies will soon prove themselves useless as digital images start to disintegrate over time. Soon, we would all refer to memory vaults of our pasts. These memory vaults will become a place from which we will restart ourselves. Various government officials will reclaim them from our closets, our bellies, and our crawl spaces in order to protect them properly. My granny's memory vault consists of ruins, journeys, another's language, and sky that contains bubbling clouds which float like nothing I could describe in my daily existence. I asked Granny why the windows of the past are now closed up like heavy boards surrounding decrepit buildings. She tells me it is because those that lived it are now dead, and so their stories are scattered in the sea and neighboring lands like seeds. Don't forget, she says, the seeds are still there. Her memory vault foresees the time when mounds of earth will push up through their surfaces in anger. During this event, dust particles will cling to the sky and evaporate into the universe. We will all stand in awe and forget about our destruction and the crumbling wasteland that surrounds us. We will be so inspired by these new landforms that all of our greatest scientists will gather together in a room with the intention of devising a grand plan resulting in the reproduction of our most wondrous and long ago perished animals. We will be forced to pay attention to other cultures and their histories because all people from all lands will be clinging to our shores with their memory vaults tucked under their bellies. We too will seek other lands and will hold on tight to new soil.